discovered these about a year ago and they have changed my little vegan life, let me tell you. Hi, it's Jules from The Vegan Dollar and I am so excited to bring you this recipe. It has become one of my all-time favorites. I've shared it with a lot of folks who also are blown away by this little, this little green gem called a mung bean. They are super duper tiny when they are raw. You can find them at pretty much any grocery store, especially your Whole Foods type of natural grocer in the bulk aisle. I got this at a natural grocery store in a bag like so. Not very expensive. They kind of remind me of a hybrid between a any, any old bean and a split pea. They just have this really delicious, yummy, unique, but still mild flavor. I really encourage you to check them out if you haven't yet. And here is my favorite way to eat said mung bean, mung bean curry. What I love about this mung bean curry recipe is that you don't actually need a curry sauce or a curry paste. It's really just garlic, ginger, coconut milk, maybe throw in a little soy sauce. And that's pretty much it besides your mung beans. That's the basic recipe. So I hate chopping garlic and ginger, but fresh garlic and ginger make a world of difference in so many recipes, including this one. Take the five minutes to mince up some garlic and ginger, go nuts, you can't really go overboard, and this will make this recipe. Honestly, don't even bother making it if you're not gonna use fresh garlic and ginger. I'm sorry, it's a little tough love in the vegan dollar kitchen today. I've got the recipe linked below, so as usual, use that as a starting point, and then you can play around for sure. So as with so many of my recipes, I have got two chopped yellow onions cooked down until they're translucent here, about medium, medium high heat with some oil. You can skip the oil, just use water or broth if you don't want to add the extra oil. You can use any kind of onion, but I tend to prefer yellow in this. So and these are on and popping. So I am going to go ahead and add a poop ton of fresh garlic and ginger this is about four big cloves minced. And then I've got, this may be a little overboard, but I'm gonna go for it. It's probably about three tablespoons of minced fresh ginger. And this is a great thing to make on a dreary winter day like it is today. If you're not feeling well, I swear, I've made this for sick friends. I mean, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just saying like the next day they were recovered. So this recipe is a little bit magical. So once you've got your garlic and ginger in there, just cook it for two or three minutes. Keep an eye on it. You do not want burnt garlic. Ick, ick, ick. You might have to turn the heat down a little bit, but just it's going to make the whole house smell good. Two or three minutes. The other thing besides fresh garlic and ginger that you're going to want to just go ahead and prep ahead of time are your mung beans. You can follow the directions on the package. Basically, it's one part mung bean to two parts water. So for this recipe, you take a cup of dried mung beans and two cups of water or broth and simmer those for about 40 minutes, but check the package and keep an eye on them. You're gonna simmer it covered because it told me to cook this for an hour and 15 minutes and it was maybe 40 minutes before they were nice and tender. If they get super mushy, don't worry, it's still yummy in this because this is kind of a soupy recipe. You then after you've got that garlic and ginger nice and fragrant, you're gonna go ahead and dump in your cooked mung beans. You give those mung beans a little, a little love, a little stir, let them get all happy with the garlic and ginger. And then what could be your last step, depending on your preference, is to add a can of full fat coconut milk. So I have been talking in the wrong direction into this camera for the first half of the video and I can't undo what's already happening here. Sorry. One of my favorite things about cooking with coconut milk is that once you get it in there, just let it simmer and it thickens up. That makes the whole house smell like a dream. All right, so I let this simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes. I went and did some dishes and she is looking fine. And at this point, you can just add some salt and pepper, call it a day. If you want, you can put this over rice. I kind of just like eating it as is, but I do add a few seasonings. My favorites are a little splash of soy sauce, actually a pretty generous amount, a few tablespoons I like. Um, I tend to like things a, a little saltier than some. Crushed red pepper or any kind of like spicy zingy powder. 
and a little bit of coconut aminos. I usually add to anything like this, a little sweet, a, not too salty, a little sweetness. And then chopped greens I add to help get in some of my greens. Any kind of greens will do. I like to use baby spinach because it's just so tender and yummy and you don't need to chop the leaves. Um, I'm a little lazy here, just toss in this bag and let it wilt for like a minute while the pan is still hot. And then that's it. That is it. So like I said, cook those mung beans ahead of time, chop that garlic and ginger, and from there it is so easy. If you liked what you saw, please hit like, subscribe, and I will be back soon with another video. I'm talking to you. I love you.